We have created something special here. We have created something unique in this place, on this corner. This really is a, a place in the community that really anyone can walk in the door and say, you know, is there anything for me here? We're working to make the world a better place at large, and it starts in this building and in our community, and it extends outward. This is us being faithful to our presence on this corner. The building is being used and utilized um, in ways that people who are here on Sundays sometimes don't even know who's using the kitchen, who's renting the spaces. Much of the rental space in here is committed to things that I think are really justice oriented, you know, supporting artists, supporting mental health. Over the years, we've offered lots of things to be relevant and real and invitational and celebrational in the community. After school programming, homeless drop in, a store for children's clothing, treating the feet of unhoused people, Whittier Farmers Market, concerts on that stage. It just opened up my mind to how a church can be of real service to a community. We are always grateful for organizations like Calvary that have been such an anchor in the community. We've been here 140 years doing good work. Uh, we want people to know that we're here for the long haul. It matters that Calvary stayed as an institution in South Minneapolis, you know, because it, it keeps open a space of opportunity. I'm excited to see where we, where we take ourselves and how we continue to serve others in the Whittier community. Our gift to the community is the resources of this building, which are many. We have renovated so much so that it could be used by everybody. Our sanctuary has been completely restored. Our basement, all the children, youth, and family spaces, commercial kitchen, everything on the inside of this steeple this iconic steeple that is in need of restoration and repair and revisioning through its lighting. If we don't attend to it now, we're giving up. We're saying, let, let the steeple crumble. It's not just structural, it's symbolic. And symbols matter. We're doing a capital campaign so that we can restore our steeple and just remain a, a light in this community. So we're asking anyone who believes in the mission of this church and is excited about the partnerships that we have and the ones yet to come to give really generously to this campaign so we can unlock the funds from the Sacred Spaces grant and restore this beautiful historic building. It's my last ask, really. And I've asked a lot of friends over the years to help. And I would love to see you partner with us and dream together about what a vibrant faith that is keyed in to the community can look like for the next 140 years. If we can make it available for that, and then we will have done a tremendous and important thing in South Minneapolis.